Hello, I'm Georgie and this is your Week in Tech. Crowdfunding platform Property Partner has raised £15.9 million led by Octopus Ventures. The platform enables anyone to invest in residential property. UK broadcaster Sky has made a strategic $45 million investment in iFlix, an early stage Southeast Asian company which seeks to rival the likes of Netflix. Following on from the Apple vs FBI encryption debate, Robert Hannigan, the head of GCHQ, has said that he hopes tech companies and academic researchers would find a way to allow government investigators to access encrypted devices without creating backdoors that undermine computer security. During his talk, Hannigan said he didn't want to ban encryption, but called upon tech experts to sit down and work out solutions. In international news, the Chinese government has employed China Electronics Technology Group to develop preventative crime software. It will work alongside the country's extensive surveillance network, analysing people's online presence, their financial transactions, employment and regular habits. They're also planning on creating an AI system that will be able to identify individual faces from security camera footage. Our download of the week is Debut, the graduate jobs app. Students can now fast track the recruitment process at blue chip companies by playing mobile games. The UK startup is pioneering mobile gamification applied to recruitment for organisations including L'Oreal, Microsoft and EY. And finally, you might soon be checked into your hotel room by a robot. Hilton Hotels and IBM Watson have partnered to create Connie, the world's first artificially intelligent robot concierge. By using Watson's processing power as the brains, the Keat robot is able to listen to questions and reply in a similar language used by humans. This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.